Okay, so to inflate balloons, you obviously need a balloon inflator, and this is what I use, the Air Force inflator. Um, I didn't start with this, I had a cheaper version, a cheaper inflator to begin with, and it did the job, but um, as I got into the more fancier balloons, like the orbs, I needed a more powerful inflator, because the cheaper ones don't blow those up properly. Um, and so I just asked my supplier, my balloon supplier, which is based here in Australia, and they are called Hayden Agencies. Um, and I just asked them what they would recommend, and they recommended this pump. And I've had it for about two years now, and it's been great. And I've noticed that most balloonists in the industry that I've come across use this, so it's very highly recommended. It's roughly, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I know it was 400 Australian dollars, roughly. So it may, may, might be like going on to $500, but I know that it was for something. Um, it's come with, it comes with four nozzles, but I, I only ever use two. And it comes with a pedal. So you just put your foot on the pedal to use the, to start the air coming out. Man, I am so terrible at this videoing thing. <laughs> so bear with me. I've taken like a hundred takes on this, but I'm just wasting time, so I'm just gonna do this. It's not gonna be perfect, but you'll get the gist of what I do. Okay, so I'm going today in the garland that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one, I guess my average garland that I do on all my round backdrops because those are the most popular so far. That's what we get the most bookings for. And I'm just gonna show you how I make those garlands. I do like a three meter garland around the two meter our two meter backdrops and I basically do the same garland I just switch up the colors so today the colors that I'm going to do is one of my popular colors um, which is I've already oh, I'll show you the balloon hold on which is the first color is blush this is um, the brand Qualitex and the color blush so I'm going to do this color I'm going to do Rosewood, this is um, the brand Sempertex, I'm going to do Rosewood, and then the third colour I'm going to use the Balloon Balls, colour True Gold. There's another gold which is just called gold, but it's like a yellow gold and it's quite, I feel like it's tacky, so I always use True Gold, um, and those are three colours I'm going to use. So. This is how I inflate my balloons. Like straightforward, but there's a few tricks to how to do it. And this is how what I do. I always do two at a time. So this is rosewood, color rosewood, and it's the standard size balloon, which is 11 inch. And if you look on my, if you go on my um, socials, go on my Instagram page and you look at all the garlands that I do, if you look closely, majority of my garlands are made up mostly of this size. So I always do a bunch of this size together and I always do two at a time and tie two together. I do another two. tie them together they don't need to be perfectly the same size just roughly the same sort of size and this is roughly the size I do um, I use a variation of sizes in my garlands I like the different size sizes throughout I feel like it gives it texture and makes them just look more glamorous um, so I use 12 centimeter balloons 11 inch which I think is 28 centimeters um, 40 centimeter balloons, 60 centimeter balloons, and 90 centimeter balloons. So all my garlands are made up of those sizes. And the majority of it is the 11 inch, this size. Um, and then I generally do the same size together when I when I blow up a pair together, but if you look at my garlands, you'll see that majority of it is made up of the 11 inch, and then there's pops of different color, different sizes in there. And so what I'll do with that is I won't do um, two 40 centimeter sizes together. I'll always I'll use a standard 11 inch with a 40 centimeter. So I'll show you now. Now 
Now here's a trick. See how this is quite oval? I don't like the oval looking um, garlands. And if you look at most of the really nice looking garlands, the, the, size, the shape of their balloon is not oval, it's round. So the way to get rid of that is you just squash it towards you. I usually put it on my lap, but you can't really see that properly. So I'm just gonna squash it. You just squash it and you can reshape it. Did you notice how it went quite more rounder? You can do the same with the little ones. Um, if they more oval, if you need to get it more round, just squash it. And then I'll tie these two together. And this is how I put pops of different sizes throughout the garland. So I'll do like a couple of these, maybe six roughly in a um, in a three meter garland. Um, but majority this size. And then for the little ones, on here they have like an attachment piece, like a, a smaller nozzle that you can just chuck on top. You need this for the little ones. I'll do the same size together, obviously. Squash them towards you. Squash it to your lap. Can't really see me squashing it. Tie them together, and that's how I play. Super easy, nothing special. With the 60 centimeter balloons, um, so in my in, in my average garland that I put on my round back drops, I always use one big 90 centimeter balloon on the bottom. So have a look at the pictures. Um, I'll try to edit one in this video and stick it up to show you. I use and I roughly use three 60 centimeters through throughout it. And I'll always, so I'll blow up the big 90 centimeter and I'll put a 40 centimeter with it. Same with the 60 centimeter. I'll blow that up and I'll put a 40 centimeter with it and tie them as a pair. And that's how I inflate, um, what is the word for it? Latex balloons. Now with the balloon balls, I use two sizes for my average garland. I use 10 inch, which is 25 centimeter. And I use usually like, I usually use two in my garland. If you look, they're all pretty much the same. So I usually use two to three of them in my garlands, unless someone has sent me a photo with more of them and they want more, then I'll use more. But generally I only use two to three. They're quite expensive and I personally like I'm a type of simple is best chick. Um, I like, I don't like too much going on, so I like just touches of the gold balls through them. So I'll use two to three of the 10 inch true gold or silver or whatever metallic I'm using. And then I use roughly three of the seven inch, which is 18 centimeters. So three of the little ones and I just pop them through it as well. And now I'm going to show you how to inflate these. There's two ways. You can use a hand pump and I use a hand pump. I actually have been using a hand pump more now because it blows it up better. But you need the small nozzle and they come like this. They're the same as orbs. They've got like a little piece in there and you open it up, stick it on, push it down a bit and inflate. <laughs> Now can you see, that is not inflated properly and I've seen a lot of these in garlands and when they're like this, they're like this for two reasons. One, you don't know how to blow them up properly. Two, your inflator is not strong enough. So when I first started I had a cheaper inflator and it, it couldn't blow these up properly because it wasn't strong enough. Now there's a trick to doing that. If you're not ready to go ahead and buy one of the more expensive inflators, you can inflate it with your pump to this point and then when it won't inflate it any further you just get a hand pump 
this is like four dollars and you pump the rest up with the hand pump and the key to blowing these up is you want to get see all these like creases in there you want to get them seamless you want to get it seamless if you do it too much you'll pop the balloon so it just takes a bit of practice you'll get used to it but don't take too much practice on it because these are expensive you don't want to be popping these these are about four dollars each for this size so and there it is all blown up properly so I usually my, my inflator I've dropped it and cracked the side of it I don't know if that's made it a little bit weaker but sometimes it blows this up really good and sometimes it doesn't it just it plays on me but I, I end up just using this anyway it's easier when I'm on when I'm on a um so when I'm on a job what I do is I prep all these all my latex balloons and I make up my garland at home but I do these at the venue because these are easy to pop so when I put them in my van to transport like they're not easy to pop once they're up but if they bang against something they're quite delicate and these are expensive and I don't want to be wasting um, time and we have so much stuff in our van when we're going to job so I just wait till I get to the venue and I blow these up there so I'll take I usually take an extra container with me with extra balloons in case I need some more. Um, sometimes you go to um, jobs and people have asked for like a four meter garland and the space is like way bigger and it just needs a little bit more. And I know they haven't paid for it but because it's my brand, my name, I would rather add more than leave it looking tacky. Um, Unless they're a client that's a pain in the bum, and then I'll be like, no, you just paid for four, four meters. <laughs> it depends. Now, <Nah. laughs> most of my clients are great. I have come across some, some not so great clients, but that's life. And generally, you, you can tell in the beginning when they're like that. Okay, anyway, back to the inflation. So the little one comes with like a little insert part, and I just inflate. See that? I'll inflate till, the, till it's seamless. I don't even know if that's the word seamless, but it makes sense to me. And yeah. So I'll do this at the venue, but I just want to show you how to inflate that now. So that's my trick to inflating balloons. And next I'm going to show you how to um, make a garland. <laughs> 